Well, ordinarily I'm pretty optimistic, but um, I don't think it's going to happen. Now, if the weather does clear, it could be epic. Epic. But it looks pretty grim right now. It's 38 degrees Fahrenheit. That's like, what, 3 Celsius, 4 Celsius? June the 15th. <laughs> Rainy. And oh, it's just looking grey. But it's supposed to clear. It's supposed to clear tonight. So I might have some great views if it clears before sunset. I've got two hours. But I'm not opt I'm not optimistic. It's actually it's actually quite pretty in its own way. But just uh pretty socked in right now. Well, I found a, a scene over my shoulder here with some beautiful blue water, um, which I don't know, I've, I've, I can't get too close. I don't want to fall in. It's very slippery and icy, but uh, there might be a composition here. I just haven't found it yet. The light is, you know, hasn't changed much since I was here. Hasn't changed much since I've been here about two hours now. I'm wandering around, waiting for, and it's just seemed to be pretty much the same. So my uh, my Grand Vista shot isn't going to work tonight, but there might be a shot here with this blue water because it really is very pretty, and um, I just need to find the right composition. Nah, just no good. In fact, the light's closing in. So, I think I'm gonna call it a day and come up tomorrow. Yep, nothing happening. Can't find a composition and I don't wanna get too close. There's a big crack in the ice just over there, about uh, 10 feet deep. So I don't want to. I don't want to get too close to that. So anyway, I'll uh, pack up and head back to my camp campsite and make some dinner. Well, excuse me. <sighs> Nothing doing out there, and I was a little bit. A little bit cautious on the uh, the snowpack. There was uh, some cracks, um, some deep cracks, and some big holes. Because basically, I was standing on the uh, on the lake, and um, I didn't want to fall in. <laughs> so, but I couldn't find any compositions. Nothing that worked. So I'll come back tomorrow, 
Hopefully the light will be better and I'll be able to get uh, the shot I was after. So, heading back to my campsite and go and get some, uh, get some dinner. So it's been a it's been a long time since I've done one of these. It's been a few months, and to be honest with you, I didn't know if I was going to do another one. Um, for a bunch of reasons, I, I just well, I wasn't feeling inspired. I kind of felt like all my content was sort of the same, and I needed to mix it up, and I didn't know what to do. Um, didn't really want to go out and shoot any landscapes, and I've been crazy busy with. Um, a lot of life changes, a lot of stuff going on. So, um, but I just wanted to kind of ground myself and do another video, uh, and get out and shoot something. <laughs> and, uh, that didn't work so well this evening. As you saw, it was kind of just crappy and socked in and no light and no subjects. So, but I'm optimistic for tomorrow. I've got a couple of, a couple of ideas for tomorrow. And so anyway, so it's good to, it feels good to be out. I mean, it's, it was a struggle. It was a struggle to come out. But it's uh, so nice to be out here in the trees um, in what might be my, my last trip to Mount Rainier, at least for a while anyway. At least for a while. I'm uh, leaving Washington State in uh, a week's time. So... Uh, this is very bittersweet because this is one of my favorite places in the world. So I had to f force myself to come out and uh, and see the mountain one more time. And that's what I'm doing. Although <laughs> it, it wasn't going to, it decided it didn't want to see me <laughs> today. So uh, anyway, I'm going to have some dinner here and, and enjoy the fire and, and uh, just enjoy being out in nature. Well, good morning everyone from a uh, cold Mount Rainier National Park. It's, uh, it's foggy, it's, cl it's clearing a little bit. The mountain Rainier is over there and you can see it's uh, fogged in right now. It was out a few minutes ago, I did manage to take a, a test shot. There's a couple of other nice uh, pictures around here too um, that are potentially quite good. So I'm gonna, you know, take a look at that. There's one here uh, of this peak here that's kind of going in and out of the fog as well. So I've got my coffee uh, and just gonna kind of wait here and see see what happens with the fog and see what happens with the light. Really popular place because you can basically my car is there's the road there, <laughs> so it's. Easily accessible, nice views of Rainier with Tipsu Lake. Uh, 
and there's no one here. It's uh, amazing. Maybe no one thought the mountain was going to come out today. So my composition looks something like this. We have the tree in the foreground. We have the, the little river, lake piece there in the, uh, the middle of the frame. And then Rainier, oops, when it comes out, which it might do right now, is up the top here, top of the frame. It's just peeking itself out right now, so I'm going to just snap this shot real quick. Okay, not quite, not quite out enough, but... Nice composition. I went for a, um, I went for a vertical composition with this one because I couldn't get that tree in, and it's sort of that tree at the bottom there, to me, kind of anchors the whole, the whole image, and it was cut off about here with, um, if I was going to go regular landscape orientation. So that didn't quite work for me. I just got the top of the tree. It didn't work. So. I'm not a huge fan of uh, portrait style shots, but this is for this one it works. All we need is just <laughs> just a little bit of clearing, just a little bit more. It's not bad. Take the shot. Just basically timing this. Because the light is starting to get a nice pink. Yeah, I like that. There we go. There we are. Maybe. Pretty good. A little bit more, maybe. Am I asking for too much? Ah, oh, then it just gets hidden again. Another big swirl of fog comes by and blocks it out it's it's gone more than it's 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 disappeared more than it's out unfortunately we just get little glimpses here and there but the light this is we're getting into the prime light time now so i'm gonna be ready i'm gonna be just waiting for the the right moment which could be coming up right this second Beautiful scene. Stunning. I'm at about, I'm at F11. Oh, there we go. It's nice. I like that. F11, I got my 70 to 200 lens on. Yes getting the shot we are getting the shot I'm just clicking away here just waiting that's that perfect 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 oh time that beautifully oh yes that is so sweet that is so sweet with my composition there on the back of the camera if you can see that, that's beautiful. Oops. That is just beautiful. Let me get another shot here. Just keep taking shots until I get, and then it's just like that. The fog just. Oh, no, no, it's still pretty good. Love that shot. Love it. Well, I got some, that's for sure. I got a couple of 
Really nice, really nice shots. There it is there on the back of the camera. Reflection Lake in Mount Rainier National Park and as you can see there's not a lot of reflections today because it's still frozen over but it's gorgeous and I've been looking around for some kind of composition and I haven't found one yet although I've just seen something but I'm not sure if I can get over there but it might be worth looking. Um, I'm going to be careful. There's signs saying thin ice and I don't want to go too far in there but as you can see it's a gorgeous scene and the fog is just just lifting and I know there's a um, some beautiful trees on the other side of the lake so even if I don't get the mountain in which uh, is not necessary really the trees on the other side of the lake will make for a nice shot. So, I'm gonna, hmm, not sure if I can get over there. I was thinking about going over there, but it looks a little bit dicey. This shot needs, needs some foreground interest. And I haven't found any yet. So I'm just not seeing anything that's worth me shooting. I mean, it's a gorgeous scene. Look at that. I mean, here's as good as anywhere, I think. So I might just frame this shot up um, real quick here. So let me, let me get on this because this fog's going to burn off in the next few minutes. So this scene actually caught my eye more than the mountain scene. I love the way the fog was hanging in the forest and the sunlight was shining through, creating really unique diagonal lines. So I hope this video, hope you enjoyed it and it inspired you to get outside and see the, the wonderful planet that we live on. And you got a little idea about my, my process, which is a, <laughs> seems to be a little bit of headless chicken. I'm out of practice. It's been a while since I've done this, as I mentioned yesterday, but Anyway, from a beautiful Mount Rainier, we will see you on the next one. Bye for now.